Hi, my name's Colin. I'm from Stockport in the UK and today I'd like you to join me in painting this watercolour. Hi, glad you could join me. I'm just going to paint this winter watercolour scene. And this is just a bit of cadmium yellow. Just add some light onto the subject in the brush. Some burnt sienna, sorry, some raw sienna. Into that on the outside. This is cadmium orange. Into that, I'm going to drop some cadmium orange straight. Once we have that, we have a weaker wash of ultramarine cobalt blue, burnt umber. Needs to a bigger brush, I think. One inch flat will do it. Be careful when you're bringing it up to the yellow, because as you know, yellow and blue make green. Whilst this is still wet, we have a stronger mix of the sky colour. Down to the foreground. Rewet this part of the painting. Same mixture of the sky colour. Just add some snow shadows. I forgot to tell you before I started, I uh, masked out some stones. You'll see them later. Soften off some edges. Got all this nice and soft at the moment. Stronger mix of your sky colour. Strengthen parts of it up in the foreground. Colour again. Some shadow into this field, then you can allow that to dry. You can add a sun just there, I think. Put a little cadmium orange around it. Pull it through the sky. To dry. Once your sky area is dried out, we can now come back to the same original mix of your sky colour and we can drop a few clouds across this expanse. Just to add the interest to it. And then in, take a damp brush. Now this is a brush that's full of water and now it's a damp brush. And just soften off. The edges on the bottom. So that is done. We can re wet the hills. This is just clean water. And we're just going to reflect a tiny bit of the sky over here. Not much. In there. We gently run some sky colour, which is the weaker mix, down just to add some shadows, shadow in the gully, leaving this part white. Just gently fading it. I just want to strengthen this up in some parts.
not to dry. Okay, welcome back. I've re-wet this hill here that runs past into this field, past the big hills, and I've also re-wet the track so it's all nice and wet. Again with a mixture of the sky colour. I'm just going to bring this out over here very gently. Bit of a stronger mix next to the wall. Down to the gate. Soften it off. Well, the track is wet. This is a mixture of light red and ultramarine. Test it. I'm just going to pull this across the stones. And because the paper is wet, this will fade to where the stones are. You just strengthen them up, soften off in some areas, and while with a damp brush, just to create some light. Nice and strong in the foreground, <clears throat> still like that. We can wet the wall area, drop some light red in, some more brownie grey from Ultramarine Burnt Sienna. the gate so it's dark around the gate to make this show up once again a touch of Wolfsbrain and Burnt Umber soften off in areas soften it off into the snow so you can't tell where the snow ends and the wall starts to dry with a very weak wash of ultramarine and burnt umber we're just gonna indicate some dry stone walls put a few bushes in I think down here we'll have some trees this is the same weak mix with a brush turned on its side Again, dry stone wall. You can remove some of the masking fluid. This is a weak mix of the sky colour with um, a little bit more burnt umber added into it. And just a touch of cadmium yellow. I'll just paint in these mid-ground trees. A little bit over here. Now, just got some yellow ochre of the sky colour with a touch of the cadmium yellow in it. I'm just going to drop this down the sides. Turn your board around and paint your branches. Okay, once you've got your board turned around, this will make it easier for you. We go back to the mid-ground trees again. And this is a double zero rigger. I'll just do one. And now turn the camera off. Because of the length of time it would take to paint them. Okay, now you've got your trees looking like this, hopefully. Some hawthorn bushes here. I put these in while the camera's out. I've done it the same way as you normally do the trees. And what I'm going to do now is just stipple some leaves onto it. This is a mixture of the light red and ultramarine. Think about your shape and form. Not much. Just a tiny bit to indicate that there's a bit of dead foliage left on that bush. A mixture, strong mixture of French ultramarine and burnt umber. Just add some dark 
So these bushes and water. <coughs> we'll just gently soften this. Soft transition. Soft enough once again. That to dry. Take some of the stronger sky mixture. It's still wet. One or two grasses out. Same here. Obviously, you can spend a bit more time at home on this. Just want to put a small one there in the foreground. Same sky colour mixture and the snow mixture. Of the house. Put the shadow side to the chimney. Just drop a tiny bit of a darken down the side. This side of the house will be in shadow because your light's coming across here. Just a touch of ultramarine. Very gently soften the edge off on the roof. Now that I've allowed everything to dry, I've rubbed the masking fluid off, which is off the uh, fence posts, the pebbles, the tops of the uh, walls. Bits of snow running up the tree. I've also finished the house off with just a tiny bit of um, cadmium red and the doors and the windows and just indicated some roofing tiles and some brickwork with a very fine double zero rigger emphasize the gate the lights coming in from here so you should be looking for a shadow side and this should just make the, uh, the gate stand out Tiny touch on the opposite side on that one. <coughs> With the walls, you can pick out the light areas. Obviously, you have more time at home. There's a wall here. Then we can move on to the pebbles. Just want to put a shadow side onto these with a very weak mix of light red and ultramarine. And I'm going to leave the tops white to try and show some snow. I'll just do a couple and you'll get the general idea. Okay, we're coming to the end of it now. <clears throat> I just sent two fan posts to do. So I'm just going to put a shadow side onto one. And leave the other one white. I'm going to drop in the light red. And then we'll just put the wire across. I don't want to get lost in the bush here. And all that's left to do. Put some sticks and twigs in around the stones, sign it, and then you can frame it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, you can follow me on Facebook. And hopefully, I'll see you again for the next video. Okay, just got the final thing to put in, which will be the shadow for this tree. Make it up across here. And 
also maybe the fence posts a little bit on the way the wall is maybe a twitch there as well where the house is throw a shadow cast a shadow edge and there's your completed painting thank you very much for watching